Hello, in this video, I'm going to be talking about why I don't like snitches, so let's get into it. Basically, I hate it when I'm having a good day and a snitch just tries to ruin it, you know what I mean? Like, everything's going good and, like, honestly, because there are times where, like, people couldn't just mind their own business. Like, come on now. Like, people always want to act so tough but the, or disrespectful, then they want to snitch on you the second you do it. And then, like, I'm like, you are such a dang hypocrite, man. Like, come on now. You're going to act all tough or you're going to be disrespectful, but then the second I go back at you, you snitch. Like, this is why I hate the whole snitch thing, because a lot of sn double, um, a lot of snitches have double standards. They're full of themselves. When they do something, they think it's okay, but then when someone else does something that that isn't, like, their best friend or something, they get, like, mad, you know what I mean? Like, seriously. Or when someone does what they do to everybody else, they get mad. Like, I've had, like, someone act all tough before, and, um, and I call, I called them out on it, and they basically just snitched on me. You know what I mean? Like, I don't get it, man. Like, because that, that was at my old high school. Like, this girl acted tough in, um, algebra class, and, and, I, and then I, I called her out, and she just snitched, and it was ridiculous. Well... Because there's a lot of times where, where I was, I, I just like to keep it 100, you know what I'm saying? I gotta get the reputation of the real G, you know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, like, okay, let's also say this. If something's going on, an argument between someone and someone, don't snitch on one person and leave the other side of the story completely out of it, okay? A lot of snitches are just flat out liars. That's why I can't believe so much people actually listen to snitches. You know what I mean? I mean, I guess if you're in an unfair situation where you fear for your own life because of how people are unfairly intimidating you or unfairly attacking you in a cowardly way, I guess then it's okay to snitch. Like, say if your house got robbed or, um... Or if, uh, or if you get, like, jumped by people at nighttime, you know what I mean? And I'm not talking about if you piss a bunch of people off and they decide to like, all go out you at you. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about, like, if if you're out at night and just random people, like, jump you for no reason. Not, like, you have a right to snitch in those types of situations, but you should learn how to deal with things on your own. A teacher is not going to be there when you're in your 20s wanting to hear a snitch's point of view, you know what I mean? They're not going to be wanting to hear that when you're in your 30s. They're not going to want to hold your hand. You're going to have to learn when to solve things on your own. And there's a difference between, like, telling on someone in, like, a funny way to, like, a friend or something or, like, a playful way instead of just flat out trying to get somebody in trouble. Because, in all honesty, throughout my middle school uh, experience, I'm not sure about elementary. I, I, I don't remember that far. But I do know in my middle school experience, a lot of people were always trying to get me in trouble because... A boy was disrespectful to me, and I straight out cursed him out, and he ended up snitching on me. And I'm like, bro, come on. <clears throat> do I do I get angry everywhere? I'm not going to lie, no. Because I know there's a time and a place, because, because in the past I've dealt with consequences a lot at schools for that. So I know, I know I have to control myself at school, you know what I mean? Like, I can't just do whatever I want, because, like, there are consequences for actions, so... But man, I swear, there are people that will literally act like they want to fight you, or they will literally act like they're a top dog, and then the second you do it back to them, they literally tattle on you. Do you not realize how ridiculous that sounds? Also, I'm not one for snitches that, like, put themselves in other people's business. Like, if a situation does not involve you, or you're not severely threatened by a situation that does not involve you, Please do not snitch. There's no reason for it. Like, you hear someone curse. Do you really have to tell an adult? Come on. Like, seriously. You weren't threatened by someone cursing at someone. It doesn't affect the way your life is. Or if you hear someone tell, like, an offensive joke, and it, it doesn't even involve you in the room, do you really have to tell on them? No. I mean, honestly, people act like they're tough so much. Then the second they get confronted, they want to act like a baby. It, it just gets on my nerves, honestly. This has happened a lot in my life. Like, people will literally act tough, and then the second um, I, I go back at them, they like to get me in trouble, so. I'm still a savage.
You know what I mean? Like, yeah, because I got to keep it 100, you know what I mean? In my rant videos, I always got to keep it 100, like, because it isn't a comedy video. This is just me speaking the facts, you know what I mean? I have other comedy videos on, like, TikTok and stuff and Instagram and so forth, but on my YouTube, I just think it's better when I keep it serious because people need to know the truth in some situations. But, yeah, because... Because I'm not just going to be that person that smiles and everybody's like, Hi there! Like, I, I, I just want to keep it 100 sometimes, you know what I mean? Like, I got to keep it 100. Yep. Like, I don't care if you're just talking to someone about something and you're not trying to get them in trouble or trying to make them look bad. That's different. But if you're telling on someone to make them, like, get them in trouble, that's different. And also, you have the snitch pass. If someone snitches on you, then you have the right to snitch back. Because that is fair. You know what I mean? If someone snitches on you, you get the snitch pass. And you're not really considered a snitch then. Because, and honestly, I've had people snitch on me. But then when I snitch on them, they're like, ah, oh, he's a snitch. Like, seriously. Like, come on. Am I really going to go to drastic measures just for someone on town on me? No, because they're not going to tell me for that. And honestly, is it even worth my time? No. So, the best thing to do on a snitch is a snitch on a snitch. Honestly, they're not even worth your time or your breath. Honestly. I don't think snitches are worth a whole lot, to be honest. A whole, whole lot of time or energy or anything. Like, because I'm not going to let a snitch get to me because I'm better than that. You know what I mean? I'm not going to let... A snitch like bring me down you know what I'm saying like I just gotta stay positive keep up with the energy and it's just good to mind your own business in certain situations because like if you hear something don't just tell an adult like seriously people always say that but would you want if you were doing something that wasn't with the rules would you want everybody telling on you like no it's one thing if you're like a teacher at a school or you're like an aide or something and you tell a counselor or an adult about it but like because that's your, that's, I guess you could say that's your job because you're technically a teacher, you know what I mean? And teachers are supposed to, like, look at things, so. But if you're a student and you're snitching on people, like, come on now. Like, seriously, come on. You know what I mean? I'm not going to go get someone for doing their job, but it, there's no reason why students seem to be snitching on other students. First things, you should always try to work out a problem, like, seriously. And you should only snitch if you actually feel unfairly threatened by someone at an unfair advantage. You know what I mean? You shouldn't just snitch for just because you don't like someone something someone said to you, God forbid, or something. You know what I mean? It's just ridiculous. You know, there's a point in where your life where you just gotta solve your own issues. Thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up. Please comment down below what you thought. Share the video. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell for more videos. And um, if you want a personalized shout out, pay me your money on Cameo. And you guys, thanks for watching.